Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Onirjeet and I'm back with more facts and insights on automobiles. We have covered the engine bit mostly and now it's time to get on with an important part that connects to the engine, the transmission. Any one of us who has driven or been in a car knows the fact that what makes the car move is not the engine but the transmission. Without selecting a gear or putting it into drive, the vehicle will not move forward or reverse. The car's engine is connected to a set of gears which move and control the delivery of power from the engine to the wheels. There are several types of transmissions, primarily split between manual and automatic. Let's check them out. The word says one thing and one thing only, absolute control over your vehicle the oldest and most reliable form of transmission. This transmission is what enthusiasts swear by. In a manual transmission vehicle, there is a clutch pedal controlled by your foot and a gear lever to engage multiple gears from first to the sixth, reverse and neutral. The manual transmission uses a flywheel, a pressure plate and a clutch to function. With a manual transmission, you have complete control over the engine and the way it should behave. A manual also provides better fuel efficiency than an automatic. If you know how to use it properly, it is also cheaper and also has less complications unlike an automatic transmission. However, it also involves significantly more amounts of work using a clutch pedal, and the gear shift lever can be tedious in traffic. Despite its several advantages, several car makers are shifting to automatic transmissions because of the convenience on offer. A clutchless manual or an IMT, as it is popularly called, is simply a manual transmission without a clutch pedal. The driving is pretty much the same as a normal manual. You have to select gears by shifting the stick through the gates, but your feet are free of operating a clutch pedal and hence less fatigue. This system works on a single clutch which is operated by an actuator and hence the shifting of gears are sometimes not so smooth or quick. Not a very popular choice for most consumers, it is only sought out for its convenience and efficiency. The setup is similar to that of the IMT although the manual gearbox setup has a completely automatic operation here. There is however no manual clutch and you don't have to select gears. An actuator and a sensor detects whether you need to upshift or downshift. AMT uses hydraulics and computer operations directly connected to the car's ECU which is the electronic control unit which works on a preset RPM range to control the speed and movement of the car. Sometimes referred to as a direct shift gearbox, DSG or a sequential manual gearbox which is SMG, this transmission allows for either fully automatic forward gear shifts or manual gear shifts through the gear selector or through buttons or paddles on the steering wheel. That was all the manual transmissions. Now let's get into automatic. Automatic transmission is pretty commonplace and is now gaining traction in the country for its effortless and smooth driving experience. Auto transmissions uses a planetary gear set, a torque converter, which is a type of fluid coupling that transfers torque from the engine to the driven wheels and hydraulic controls. On the outside, you see a general PRNDL setup for park, reverse, neutral, drive and low and the regulator or shift stick helps you to control the car's transmission and yes of course, there is no clutch so your left foot stays idle. Modern cars also offer you manual intervention where you can, if required, select a gear using a set of paddles behind the steering wheel or a plus or minus selection on the shift lever. A type of automatic transmission, this one does not use multiple gear ratios to multiply torque and alter loads. A CVT instead uses a metal belt and two variable diameter cone shaped pulleys to transfer the torque to the driven wheels. This gives it continuously changing range of gear ratios. You can in fact drive your vehicle at varying speeds maintaining the same RPM on a CVT. 
modern cars give you manual intervention as well where you can shift gears in a CVT. This enhances efficiency and makes the drive experience smoother. Sensors and various other electronics have also made this a far more efficient option and several affordable automatic cars now use a CVT transmission. As the name suggests, this one uses two clutches to operate two sets of gears within the transmission. These are odd and even gear sets and the dual clutches allow for pre-selection. Hence, it makes the entire system more efficient and responsive. They have another advantage as they can be worked in a fully automatic mode and also in a manual mode with the help of paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Because these transmissions are quicker in operation, they are largely used in sports cars and performance-oriented vehicles of all sizes. However, their use is increasingly becoming more commonplace with several affordable cars also sporting a dual-clutch transmission. It is however expensive technology and has not been without its teething issues, namely overheating. This wraps up the transmission bit. I will be back again next week with some more interesting facts and insights on automobiles. Hit the like button and subscribe to the Overdrive YouTube page and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.